Staying cool while you're on the road used to be impossible, but not anymore. This summer, the game has completely changed with these three brand new heavy hitting portable air conditioners. They all promise frosty portable power, but which one is actually worth your hard earned money? Today, we put them through the ultimate chill off to find out. First up is the newest addition to this lineup, the CyberTake S2 Pro. This one boasts 5,100 BTUs of cooling and 6,100 BTUs of heating. It weighs about 12 kilograms or just about 26 pounds. And that 26 pounds isn't really too heavy, especially since it has this very good centrally located handle. And not included in that weight is this power brick, which weighs around six pounds. So on paper, this one is almost identical to the EcoFlow Wave 3, except for the fact that the power brick is independent of the unit. This one is also the cheapest with today's price at $820. $29 and adding on this remote control in this accessory bag can quickly drive that price close to $1,000. Included with the base product are these two ventilation hoses. Hooking up either of those hoses to the air conditioner does require these adapters which snap on very easily from both the front and the rear. The S2 Pro only comes with two of these hoses. You can buy these hoses independently for about $40 each on their website. I do wish that this one came with all four hoses or at least two of these top hoses because this is your cold air outlet. So this is gonna put the cold air wherever you want it in your setup. And then this is the hot air exhaust. This is the air that you do not want to keep inside of the compartment that you're cooling. So adding that third hose would complete the overall package. Just like all three of these devices, the CyberTake S2 Pro is of course app enabled. So you can use your phone to control the device. And this one does have a remote control. But one thing that the CyberTake S2 Pro does not have that the others do is an external purpose-built battery system. But even without that battery, this bag right here does make this package overall feel complete because the air conditioner fits inside this bag and depending on how you have it configured, you can also carry all the accessories shown on the table. Well guys, it looks like everything fits, although not exactly quite as expected. Perhaps that's just my lack of skill in packing this efficiently. Maybe I could have gotten one of these vents to fit inside of the bag with the device, but let's move on to the EcoFlow Wave 3. This one is actually 1000 BTUs stronger for cooling with 6100 BTUs. And then this also has 6800 BTUs of heating power. So the output rating of the EcoFlow Wave 3 is much higher than the CyberTake and the Zero Breeze Mark III. And with those increased outputs, this one is the heaviest coming in at 33 pounds, which when you add in the fact that this one does not have a charging brick and the charging brick of the CyberTake S2, they're almost identical in weight. And although the Wave 3 only comes with two hoses, they are both well insulated and this larger hose works on the back or the heat exhaust. And then the smaller hose works on the cool air outlet. And my favorite thing about this hose design is that I can choose to direct the cool air to me and exhaust the hot air without having to decide which one I prefer most. Now to install the hose covers, you first need to remove these little grill guards that protect the radiators from your larger bugs. Then you simply line up the hose cover and snap it into place. And installation is just super easy. Just line up the unlock icon, twist, lock into place. Now this one would be considered your condenser's intake hose. And some folks do complain that this one does or is angled upwards. So when you are in a confined space, you do have to account for the angle of this hose when it's in operation. And my favorite configuration includes using this front hose to vent out my cool air into my compartment while I have that back hose venting out the hot air outside of my cooled space. And similarly, a lot of folks have observed that both the front and the rear outputs of the Wave 3 are angled upwards, meaning no matter what you do, you are gonna have some angle into your cooled space. Now this right here is the Wave 3 add-on battery. It's a 1,024 watt hour lithium iron phosphate battery, and this one weighs 22 pounds. If you had this by itself and didn't have the air conditioner, this could be considered the world's largest portable battery bank with one USB-C and one USB-A output. It also has an XT60i input, so you can charge this directly from solar panels while powering your air conditioner. Connecting to the two devices is pretty simple. You just lay this on, slide it forward, 
and lock in the XT150 input in place. The only disadvantage of having the add-on battery attached like this is you have a combined weight of 55 pounds total. And on the other hand, the add-on battery can run anywhere from two hours on max mode up to eight hours on its lowest eco mode. I didn't mention the drainage system on the Cybertech S2 Pro because the Eco Flow Wave 3 and the Zero Breeze Mark III both have active drainage systems. This is a very important distinction because both the Zero Breeze Mark III and the EcoFlow Wave 3 have a pump inside. So when they fill up with water, they will actively pump that water out into wherever you have your hose lead. This one is gravity feed, although it does have a low moisture control. And in fact, all three of these devices have some kind of moisture control. The moisture quickly overpowers these systems. So having the ability to pump away the water is a huge plus. So the Wave 3 is the only one of the three power stations that doesn't have a dedicated carry handle on top. And in my opinion, using both the front and rear upper lips is the most efficient way to carry this device. And today's price is a thousand bucks for the Wave 3. You can get it paired with the Delta 3 Plus for about 1500 bucks. And that is probably your best buy for this power station because you will also have that AC inverter. But if having the ultimate in portability from the EcoFlow ecosystem is truly your main goal, get it with that add-on battery, which will cost you just about a hundred bucks more than it would with the Delta 3 Plus. And third in today's lineup is of course the Zero Breeze Mark III, which is the lightest of the three coming in at 22 pounds or 10 kilograms, putting out 5,280 BTUs of cooling power and 5,800 BTUs of heating power. With the Zero Breeze system, you have the option for these lithium ion add-on batteries, which come in at 1,024 watt hours and just under 15 pounds. So combined, this system System weighs about 37 pounds with the battery and the air conditioner. And if you want to stick with the proprietary Zero Breeze batteries, you can add on several of them, extending the runtime for your air conditioner for days at a time. One feature the Zero Breeze comes with over the other brands is that it has three hoses from the get-go. And just like the CyberTake, this one does have the option to ventilate both the front and the rear. But in addition to what the CyberTake is missing is this third hose. That means I can have this system inside of my tent, for example, with both the intake and outtake venting out into the atmosphere while I have that cool air blowing directly at me and the return line inside that same compartment. And if I wanted the Zero Breeze outside of my tent, I could swap this hose off of here, put it in the front, and then I could have both of those hoses return line and cold air line inside of the tent. It also comes with a power brick. This one is much lighter coming in at three or four pounds as well as a remote control. And now we're gonna answer the most important question in today's video. How do these three portable air conditioners perform? I'm gonna run each of them at their maximum output cooling settings for about 10 minutes each. I'm gonna monitor the amount of power they consume in those settings. I'm also gonna monitor the wind speed as well as the output air temperature. Zero Breeze Mark III put out an average air temperature of about 48.3 degrees Fahrenheit at 14.85 miles per hour, pulling almost 390 watts continuously. And in that 10 minutes, it consumed about 64 watt hours. And the EcoFlow Wave 3 put out 52 degrees Fahrenheit at just about 10 miles per hour, consuming around 70 watt hours. And the CyberTech S2 Pro put out winds at 17.5 miles per hour and consumed 57 watt hours. Now, before we dive into those results and find out who is the winner in which categories, I wanted to share some collective cons or collective disadvantages of these portable HVAC units. Number one, they are all expensive. Relative to the window AC unit, these things are at least twice, if not three times the cost. They also have limited capabilities. For the most part, these portable HVAC units do not warm the air if it's below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and they don't cool the air if it's above 104 degrees Fahrenheit. They do vary a little bit, maybe plus or minus one or two degrees, but that is a disadvantage, especially if you're in an environment that is above 104 degrees and you're expecting one of these to cool that space. The third major disadvantage you did see in the testing, which is that they all have 
these massive hose configurations that you will have to deal with. You'll have to store them. You'll have to carry them around. The best one for that category specifically currently is the CyberTake with that accessory bag. A third topic that's not really discussed in a lot of these reviews that I see is power consumption. I had that massive DJI Power 2000 system, and even with that power system, you're going to get maybe five or six hours on max with any of those power stations. So if you're planning to use this for a comfortable night's sleep, it's just not going to work out unless you have a massive amount of power. The term portable is relative. These things do take up a lot of space. You have to be able to carry them you have to tote them around. So portable means you probably have a vehicle or some other mechanical way to carry them. You're not gonna throw this in your backpack and go hiking with it. They all create condensation. Now, some of them have the pump that will help remove the condensation out of the vehicle, for example, while others rely specifically on gravity, which means you have to have some kind of container below the system to capture that condensation. Well, guys, I put everything in a table. I'm gonna put all those results on the screen, but here they are, no nonsense. And before I share them, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Pure air temperature output, the Zero Breeze Mark III came in with 48.3 degrees Fahrenheit, followed by the EcoFlow Wave 3 at 52 degrees Fahrenheit and the CyberTake S2 Pro at 54 degrees Fahrenheit. Moving on to pure wind speed, the CyberTake came in with 17.5 miles per hour, followed by the Zero Breeze Mark 3 at 14.85 miles per hour and the EcoFlow Wave 3 at 10 miles per hour. Moving on to pure cubic feet per minute. So that's taking the hose diameter and that wind speed and converting that into CFM. CyberTake S2 Pro, number one at 103.2 CFM, followed by the EcoFlow Wave 3 at 97.2 CFM. And then finally, the Zero Breeze Mark III at 90.5 CFM. Now, if power is your pure motivator, then the Zero Breeze Mark III was the most efficient, consuming 57 watt hours in the 10 minute period, which should add up to about 342 watt hours over an hour, followed by the CyberTake S2 Pro at 64 watt hours and 384 estimated per hour. And then finally, the massive, more powerful EcoFlow Wave 3 at 70 watt hours or 420 watt hours in a one hour period. I wanna put a very strong asterisk on those results because this test was conducted in approximately 70 degree ambient air temperature, which is not at the extreme limits of either of these devices. I say that because I have used this EcoFlow Wave 3 in some conditions where it pulls 550 watts. I've also used the CyberTake S2 Pro in some conditions where it pulls 550 watt. And because of that, I know that there are extreme conditions where these things might be more efficient or more effective that I just don't have in today's environment. And now we need to answer the most important question in this video, which is which of these three portable HVAC units gets you a vote? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you on my next adventure.